Hello and welcome. Sometimes there is software you can download, but it's only available in an exe file that demands administrator rights, like so. And perhaps you don't have admin rights on this computer, for example a school computer, or you don't trust the software, which is totally fair, especially for games, when free games demand that they have admin rights, I think that's a bit horrible. Often with these setup files or installers, you can extract the files. For this, there is a fantastic tool called InnoExtract. It's free and open source. It contains an InnoExtract.exe file. I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here next to the setup files. And now I can simply drag and drop the setup.exe files onto the InnoExtract.exe file. If you don't see the file endings, you can just go to View and enable File and Extensions. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't work with all kinds of installers. If we try in a command line, you know, extract.exe and then the setup file. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not a supported installer. Okay, so here we have two different installers. This is an MSI file. This does not work. For MSI files, I have a different tutorial that helps, though. This is GIMP. This might work. Oh, yes. When you see this window and it gets colorful and lines appear, that, this is a good sign. This is extremely strongly compressed, though, so this installation is going to take a while. Okay, I am in slight shock because this took 1 hour and 10 minutes. Well, as you see, the window closed automatically after that. Why did it take so long? And there is an app folder now. If you go into the app folder, you can find the files. For example, bin contains gimp 2.10.exe. And often you can run software in this way, but some software will notice that it was not installed properly and might not work. But a lot of games work this way and GIMP apparently as well. For MSI files, check out my other video about this topic. I hope this helps you use your computer without admin rights and not having to give admin rights to software. Please let me know in the comments if you know of other tools that help, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!